it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. Welcome back to week three of the 2022 holiday crochet along. We're making these gorgeous merry and bright pillows. They are made in luxurious velvet yarn in a fabulous waffle stitch. So last week we actually crocheted the two squares that we need for our pillows in this waffle stitch pattern. In case you missed that, the uh, video was on the channel and the written pattern is on the blog. This week, we're gonna take our two panels and we're gonna seam them together using a very simple single crochet seam. You can kind of see it creates some lovely piping, almost like a, like a sewn pillow, gives a little edge. So we're gonna do that together, very simple and easy. And so today you're gonna need your um, two squares that you made, your pillow form or stuffing, whatever you're using, your crochet hook, your 6.5 millimeter K crochet hook, scissors, and your tapestry needle you know, to take care of any ends, okay? So we're gonna do that. Now, one more thing I wanted to mention before we jump into our seaming. If you're not on the Ravelry group or the Facebook group, I'll put the links down below. You can join those groups to connect with other makers, show off your work, ask questions, et cetera. I'll put the links down below. And also, if you're on social media, use the hashtag FiberFluxCal to share your work. So without further ado, let's jump into the crochet part. And just to uh, recap our schedule, we did week one, we learned about supplies. Week two, we crocheted our squares, our waffle stitch squares. Today we're gonna seam our pillows, and then next week we're gonna do a fun recap. At the end of every crochet along that I do, um, we do a recap. So all the written pieces uh, on the blog are all in one post, and the videos. So I put it all in one post, so you can have it in one handy spot. So let's jump right in and seam our gorgeous pillows together. Okay, so last week we finished our squares. I have two red squares that are the same size and two green squares that are the same size. If you missed last week, we went through all the stitches. I walked you through step by step and we learned how to um, work the beautiful waffle stitch that you see here. Um, you can go back and check out that video if you haven't seen that one yet. Today, we have our finished squares and we're ready to grab our pillow forms and start seaming. It's very exciting. So let me just scoot this one out of the way. Um, we finished up and we left our loop. We didn't fasten off because what we're gonna do is just continue to crochet around the edge. So our waffle stitch has two sides. We have an outside uh, public side, if you will, that looks like a grid, like wa a waffle. And then on the other side, if we look at our other square, the reverse side looks different. It looks sort of like ribbing, okay? So what you can do is you can have, make your pillow two sides and have this on one side and this on the other side, or you can make it the same on both sides facing out. So what I um, prefer is I, I want mine to be the same on both sides, okay? Um, so I'm gonna make this ribbed look the inside. So we're gonna be seaming around the outside. We're not gonna turn it inside out or anything like that. So I'm gonna take my square that I'm working on here with my loop, and I'm gonna take this other one, and I'm gonna lay this, so the this is the inside of my pillow. So it'll go first layer, pillow form, top layer, okay? So we want our two insides to be facing one another while we seam. So go ahead and stack those up. And then I'm gonna zoom way in so you can see what we're gonna do next. We have our active loop here, and we're gonna begin by seaming down the side, okay? So get your two layers together, sandwich them together, grab your yarn, and all these ends that you see, we're just gonna tuck those in. You don't even have to worry about them. As we seam, we'll just tuck them in. All right, so what we need to do, we're gonna learn how to work, the, we're gonna work down the side, and then we're gonna learn how to work the corner next, okay? So what you wanna do is go into, now the sides are a little trickier because um, there's, there's kind of like big openings here. Um, it's okay, what we're gonna do is go into that opening, and we're gonna work two single crochets into that opening just to fill it in a little bit. And you wanna make sure that um, they're both facing upward. So like where you left off is the same on both, okay? So let's back up a little bit. We're gonna go in, you can work in those side spaces and we're just gonna go into the side and we're just gonna work 
a single crochet, just like that. Okay, so go into that other space, other side, wrap the yarn around the hook, bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, bring it through both loops, okay? And we're just gonna do this all the way down. So go in the side space, the next side space, work a single crochet. Now when you're going into these sides, make sure you're picking up at least two loops per layer, because if you go in just do one loop, um, it's gonna snag it and kind of pull out and maybe distort it a little bit, okay? So as you do it, just make sure you're picking up more than one, one loop per layer, okay? And now we're just gonna go down the side here, just like that. And we're just working into both layers, working our single crochet seam. And what that is gonna do, our little seam is gonna really give us a nice sharp edge. You can see that already, that's happening. Now, if you have a big side space, you can work two single, I think I mentioned this before, you can work two single crochets in a larger side space just to kind of like hold it all together. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna work down, I'm working down the side here, we are gonna work down till we get to that first corner. And I'm gonna show you how to work the corners. We need to add a couple extra stitches in those corners because we need to um, kind of round the corner and go around the corner. So we need to add a couple extra stitches in order to make that happen. Otherwise, it would kind of pull a little um, and not look as nice. It would kind of distort our pillow a little bit, okay? So as you can see, look, we have a nice crisp edge now of our pillow, okay? Now, as you work, you wanna make sure you're still holding it together every so often and lining things up. But for the most part, in each of these side stitches, you'll work a single crochet. If you have a very large, I'm sorry, side space, not side stitch. We're not working into a stitch, we're working down along the sides of our stitches. So we have little spaces on the side. But if you have a very large side space, you can work uh, an extra stitch into that. We're not really keeping track of any special stitch counts here. We're just working down the side. And every so often, I like to just kind of stop, look at my handiwork, line things back up, make sure one, one side isn't like way longer than the other. Um, sometimes that can happen if you work um, more stitches into one layer and not the other, or you, you skipped over something. So you just make sure everything is continuing to line up and we're getting a nice beautiful edge on our pillow cover here. Okay, so keep working down the side we're gonna work each stitch together until we get to this first corner and then you'll kind of know what to do for the rest of the pillow here. We're gonna do this red one together because the green one, if you made a smaller one, also like I did, it's the same exact way to seam it, okay? Now, if you have some, this happens sometimes with this velvet yarn, it's just so silky. Um, if you have some kind of like loops that are looking a little messy here, you can kind of like turn those in and tuck them into your pillow. Anything that uh, happens on the inside of the pillow or gets turned into the inside of the pillow will not show, okay? So you can kind of see this loop that's sticking up here. You can kind of like roll that inward and let's see, I'm gonna go right before that loop. You can sort of roll that inward and not have to have that show. I sort of like rolled that in. Okay, now we're at the corner, okay? I have a tail here. Uh, you can just um, give it a little trim and then tuck it in. No big deal. You'll never see it again. Okay, so we're at the corner here and it might be a little bit tricky to see, but we're gonna go and work in this corner area here. I want you to work four single crochets into the corner. So one, two. All right, now I have a loop that's sticking up, so just kind of roll it back into the inside of the pillow. Okay, and then we're gonna do three single crochet, and then four single crochet. Make sure, now that 
that layer, I only picked up one loop. Make sure you're picking up two loops per layer. Okay, and four single crochet. Now you can see we have this beautiful edge on our pillow. It looks much more finished, starting to really come together. All right, so let's turn our work and let's go down this side a little bit. What we're gonna do is, uh, again, work a single crochet in each of these. Now we're at the bottom here. So this is where we began our, our uh, square. Just try to work in each chain on this bottom one, okay? So there isn't really an exact, like I said before, there isn't really an exact count here. It's not exact. You just wanna kinda go in each chain or each stitch or each side space, whatever you're um, encountering, you know, whatever edge you're encountering. Each, each edge might be a little bit different, okay? So on this one, uh, we have two starting chains. So it does look a little bit different than stitches once again. But I'm just trying to work in each chain as we go around. And you can see those four single crochets we did, didn't that give it a really nice looking edge, okay? So just keep working across. Go on both layers with your yarn, work your single crochets all the way across. So I'm gonna keep working my single crochets all the way around, making sure, uh, see if I have a wild looking loop that I turn it inward. Sometimes you see that, especially with a really silky, um, slippery yarn like velvet. It, it kind of slips around a little bit. But I'm just working a single crochet in each one of these chains down here at the bottom. This was our starting chain for both squares. Now we're working on. We just want to make sure that everything just looks nice and neat and we have a lovely straight edge along the side here. And then also make sure you work four single crochets into each corner, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and finish working around. Um, make sure you go around, now I removed my hook, but make sure we did one side together, we're doing the second side, then work the third side and you'll have an opening at the bottom, okay? You can see. When you have finished your third side, we're gonna rejoin and I'm gonna show you how to put the pillow in and we'll keep on seaming, okay? So go ahead and do side one, side two, and side three and we'll rejoin, seam up side four and stuff our pillow. We'll actually stuff our pillow and seam side four, okay? So keep going with your sides and we'll rejoin in just a minute. Okay, so we've worked side one, side two, and side three. Now we're ready to, we kind of have a pocket now. We're ready to put our pillow in. So I'm just gonna remove my hook, leave yourself a big loop so it won't pull apart as you're doing this. And we are ready to stuff our pillow, okay? So grab your pillow and you wanna be careful. You won't wanna kind of shove it in there, but, um, Again, if you're using a um, pillow form like I'm doing, uh, you just wanna guide it in there. Al alternatively, you can um, stuff this with like some fiber fill or even yarn scraps or fa uh, fabric scraps that you've been collecting throughout the year. Okay, so if you see any loops that you're not loving, you can just kind of tuck them in. But our pillow looks great. Um, now, if it's stretching one way or the other, you wanna kind of fix that, but it looks wonderful. So let's go ahead and it fits great. I just have to say as a side note, it fits really well uh, the way we made it. So then what we wanna do is grab our pillow and we're gonna go back to seaming our pillow. Okay, so find your loop and tighten it down. And I'm actually gonna maybe flip it this way so you can see better. And then all we're gonna do is do the same thing. Uh, here's a tail as a side note. We wanna just tuck that in and it's just gone, disappear. So what we wanna do now is just go into, once again, go into both layers with our pillow and work your single crochet seam across, okay? So keep doing that across and we're gonna just kind of bring it all the way across here. And when we get to the end, I'm gonna show you how to finish it off. Okay, just working that last single crochet to finish off. And remember our corners were four single crochets. 
And then I'm just gonna join with a slip stitch in that next stitch that you come to, to close this round off, okay? So our pillow looks great and it feels super luxurious. And what we're gonna do last is I'm gonna just grab my scissors and my tapestry needle and we can just cut a little bit of yarn here to fasten it off. Wrap the yarn around the hook, bring it through. And you might get a little bit of crumbs with this velvet yarn. That's totally normal. You can just kind of pull those off if they get stuck to your project. We're gonna thread our needle and we're just gonna tuck this tail into our pillow. So you might wanna like kind of run your hand into one of the holes to kind of guide it. And then you can sort of come out on the other end and give it a little snip. Okay, a tug and a snip and it'll just sort of disappear. Now that your pillow is done, you can sort of shape things up, get those corners nice and sharp. Just make sure everything looks nice and neat. So our pillow is complete. It looks great. It has a ton of texture and a very luxurious feel. Now I wanted to point out, you can really see my pillow form through here. I'm under some really bright studio lights here in my studio filming this. Um, but when you have it kind of in normal lighting conditions, this pillow form kind of disappears. You don't see it as much. You could, and when I tilt it, it kind of looks like that. Um, now next week, uh, we're going to have the reveal and recap. With all of my crochet alongs, I do a reveal and recap post um, the week after. So I'm going to take all the parts of our crochet along and I'll put them all in one post. All the written parts, the blog post links, and all the videos. They'll all be in one post. So if you want to make more pillows, for example, if you wanted to make one for a different season and revisit this at some point or make more uh, for this season, you can go back and it'll all be in one place. So that's super handy. So that is our tutorial. Now we are going to next week when I do the big reveal, I'm also going to seam our green pillow. So you'll be able to see both pillows completely finished. And again, the smaller one is seamed the same exact way same four crochet single crochets in the corner single crochets across it's done the same exact way so I will be revealing both pillows and you can see them all in their entirety and that is it for our holiday crochet along so I hope you have a wonderful holiday season enjoy the rest of it and enjoy your pillows and definitely in the Ravelry and Facebook groups again the links are below be sure to share your beautiful pillows we all want to see what you're making are you doing something that matches your home are you doing more of a holiday theme like I did. Uh, I'd love to see your pillows and everybody loves seeing what everyone's doing. So share your pictures in our groups and also use the hashtag uh, FiberFluxCal to share your work as well. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this crochet along and our next crochet along our seasonal one will be the spring crochet along in the spring. At the beginning of the year, we're also going to be doing our granny stash down challenge again. So uh, stay tuned. Um, we have that at the beginning of the year and then later on our spring crochet along as well. I already know what I'm doing for that and I'm really excited. I'm working on it a little bit already. So I will see you for our next crochet along and enjoy your pillow, enjoy your holiday season. Thanks so much for watching and be sure and hit that subscribe button to get all the latest Fiberflux video updates. Thanks again.